Hey, hey, assistant coach, how are you guys doing? It's me, Johnny Sports, and welcome to the best, yes, the best episode of our Road to Ronaldo series you will ever see, boys. Today, we pack an icon, we open up our elite three monthly rewards, and then there's some big things happening. So I'm looking forward to this. If you guys can, if you ever enjoyed this series at any point, this is the time to support this series. Hit that like button, share the video. We got incredibly lucky and you guys will get to see which card we actually pulled. The title will obviously be, we packed an incredible icon or something like that. I just can't not put it in. I mean, it, it just is an incredible icon pull. So I'm really looking forward to show you guys the rewards in just a little bit. But um, we got Elite 3 this month, as I mentioned before. And uh, we will be getting 12 red informs. I am really looking forward to show you guys who we have gotten and what we have done with those players after I show you who we have packed. So in just a second right here, guys, you will get to see my best pack on FIFA 18. Enjoy. All right, boys, we are here with our monthly rewards. 2.3 million in the bank. We have sold everything. We have gotten ourselves a, like, basically a budget squad. Got ourselves 18 victories during this Foot Champs weekend in order to get into the Elite 3 section for the monthly rewards. There are some insane monthly cards out there, including the likes of Suarez, um, Salah, Bale, but I'm not looking at those. I have five players that I looked at that I personally would absolutely love to get and that I, that I think in Elite 2, Elite 3 should be possible to get. The highest rated one is Ederson, 87 rated card. 86 rated Kyle Walker would be an absolute dream. Leroy Sané, that is my number three. That would be an amazing card to get. Um, and then if we move over here, Rashford would be amazing. He could be such a nice card to get. Aurier, that is uh, my number five. Those are the five cards that I would die for. I want those red informs. Hopefully we can get them. Those are the five. And now, we are jumping right in there. Last month, if you guys remember, it was a huge disappointment. We got Elite 2 monthly and we got ourselves Burki. And we were so disappointed. We, like the, the chat, myself, we were all really sad. But now the time has come to try again, to go for it again, and maybe pack something good on our Road to Ronaldo's account. So that is what I'm hoping for. Hopefully we can get it done. Elite 3 monthly and we are also getting ourselves the Elite kit once again which is cool. We are getting one Elite 3 for Champions pack and now first of all we have to open our weekly rewards for Champions, Weekend League, we got Gold 3 and then I started gifting people wi uh, wins. I gave like 8 victories to people I think so I was really happy that I could help out some people. We got 2 Mega Packs and 1 Rare Players pack and 30k coins and I genuinely think Gold 3 looks a little better than Gold 2. I, I might be mistaken there, but I, I genuinely do believe that Gold 3 is better than Gold 2. That just might be my opinion, but let's see. Please, please EA, I'm begging you. These three can be complete shit. I don't care about them. This is what I worked for for five weeks. 12 red informs, 81 or higher. Just give me something good. All right, let's start off with the Mega Packs. The Mega Packs, I never really trust in. I don't really get too lucky with these. Oh, we do get... God, my first icon. My first ever icon. I can't believe I'm seeing this on my screen. My heart. My heart. 
Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, that's 640k. Oh my god, boys. I cannot believe this just happened. Holy shit. Hey, MGH is in the chat. Guys, that is insane. If you're not watching this on a stream, if you're watching this video, it is time to hit that like button. This should be the Road to Ronaldo's episode that gets to 2,000 likes. The first one. And we got Dust. Two icons in a pack. Oh my god. I cannot believe I packed Patrick Vieira. No way. No way. I'm shaking. I am actually shaking. <laughs> Oh no, I got Patrick Vieira, one of the best, like, if not, one, yeah, if not top three, top, let's say top five, best baby icons you can get. Yes, man, finally, finally, yes, and this was my first pack, <laughs> we still have the monthlies to go, we still have the monthlies to go. Unbelievable. Patrick Vieira is in my club right now. I am so happy. Playing playing this game finally has paid out, man. I knew that at some point in this FIFA, this moment would come where I packed that one special player that changes everything in our Road to Ronaldo series. And this is the one. This is really the one. Patrick Vieira goes for over 600k. That will take us up to around four, uh, 3 million coins. And we still haven't even opened our monthly rewards. That is absolutely incredible, guys. I don't know if I should sell him. I genuinely am thinking about keeping him because that is my first ever icon. And his price will keep on going down, I know. But I'm so happy, man. Let's go. Let's move ahead into the second mega pack. At this point, I don't even need to expect anything. Like, I'm so happy that we got something incredible. I am so, so happy that we got something good. And from this point on, I legit can't be mad at anything I pack. But if, if we can also pack good players from the monthly rewards... This will be my best video ever. And this is the best pack now that we are getting from uh, the from the weekly rewards. The Patrick Vieira hype is gone. I just talked to my chat. I needed to talk to them for a second uh, because I just needed to talk to someone live. Okay, here we go with the rare players pack and then we will finally be able to open our monthly rewards. Can we get in anything in this? It is boards. I'm happy with that. I'm really happy with that. I'm not asking for anything right now. Okay, that would have been too much. If we would have gotten someone like De Gea now, that would have been really too much. We get Asenjo. Okay, that is an 84 rated card in a rare players pack. I'm happy with that. They do still sell for quite a bit. I will be playing. I will be storing all these players in my club. And now the time has come for the Elite 3 foot champions pack 12 red informs all of them 81 or higher please one of those five i want ederson sane walker rashford Aurier. one of those five and playing this month was worth it for me please EA, just give me one here we go here we go chat the time has come i've opened the pack Give me something good. Let's make this the best pack opening I've ever had. I mean, it already is. We got Vienna. It is going to be... Keita. 85. Okay, that already rules out. That already rules out... Um, Sane, Walker, Ederson. I only have two players left that I wanted. Only two players left that I wanted. Rashford, Aurier. I, I can't be too disappointed. I mean, yes, sure. Uh, we didn't get anything good here. Um, we could have gotten something a lot better. Last month, we got an 86 rated card. This month, we get an 85. 
The question is, will we get something decent behind him? Will we be able to pack ourselves a Rashford or an REA? Rashford would be incredible. Please. Please. Come on. Come on, EA. Come on, EA. No. <sighs> I'm happy with that Martinez. I'm happy with that Martinez, to be honest with you. But other than that, there's not a single card that will make it into my team at any point this year. That Martinez is legit the only card that will get a game in my club. I really hope he's good. And there it is, guys. We have packed Patrick Vieira. It was an incredible moment. I could not believe my eyes. Seriously, even a day after it, I'm still in awe. He was going for around 640k. Since my card is a fresh one, I put him up for 690 and someone straight away picked him up. Someone was looking for that fresh Vieira and they have gotten themselves the Patrick Vieira baby icon card. Now, the reason why I sold this card, you might be thinking, why don't you use him? It's a first owner icon. It's an amazing one as well. Put him into your team and use him. I thought about that as well at the start, but then I realized, you know what? Team of the season is around the corner and there will be people who, who are worth like 50k who will have a better card than this Patrick Vieira statistically. So I just thought to myself, you know what? Let's make our coins right now, get them into the club and get to our goal. Because you know why, boys? We sold Patrick Vieira and we have brought in Ronaldo. It has happened. Ronaldo has finally joined our team. I cannot believe we have finally gotten him, boys. Baby icon Ronaldo. Obviously, we do not have the coins for the prime, but the whole purpose of this series was to get both of the Ronaldos into our team. We had Cristiano for a very long time, used him until his price crashed down below like 1 million, and now we have gotten ourselves baby icon Ronaldo I cannot wait to use him this is these are his stats 95 acceleration 93 sprint speed 94 finishing shot power long shots everything looking good um dribbling amazing um you have passing which, which is kind of questionable but still it's a striker so you wouldn't, you wouldn't really expect something incredible right there physically you could give him an upgrade yeah we could definitely give him a little bit of an upgrade on his physics I think we don't need to improve his uh pace but man we have been waiting for this for such a long time. I think the episode where we got Cristiano Ronaldo had over 2,000 likes. This episode, we got Baby Vieira and also this Ronaldo. So please hit that like button, guys, and share the video if you're interested in that. But I am so looking forward to use this card. I will send him to my club right now because I can show you how I started off my weekend league. Um, it was... It, it, not it was, it is terrible <laughs> because I had to use an untradeable team uh, with a couple of players joined into there, but we are about to create one of our best teams ever. So get ready. We still have 1.7 million coins, as you can see. So we have one win out of three, which I don't really care about because the good thing is this month is only um, four weekends. And as soon as I get this team together that I'm planning on getting, you guys will be very happy, I think. You guys will be very excited about this. Uh, we only need 97 victories out of 160 games. We need to get there again. I want Elite 3 once again. And because of that, I can't really keep my coins in the club. I need to spend them, especially now that I have the opportunity to do what I'm about to do, boys. We are going after Cristiano Ronaldo. We will be buying both the Ronaldos in this episode. Yes, it is about to happen. This is the Cristiano Ronaldo. We are picking up 980,000 coins. Cristiano Ronaldo and Ronaldo will now be in one team. Before I show you that uh, team that is coming up, here is the, so to say, untradeable team. I got myself the Balde de Keita. Uh, we did the Lorente SPC and we did win the daily knockout tournament. So that is the first out of four cards that I'll be getting. Now we have to wait for Henderson, Koke and Paye. Those are the three cards that I want to get 
<coughs> apart from this Balde Diallo Keita. He's actually quite decent card, you know. Four, go four games, four goals so far for me. Three of them being in foot champions, one assist as well. Really decent card, really like him. He will be an amazing super sub for this upcoming squad. And then we obviously got from the Elite Rewards the only usable player, really, uh, Martinez. Four games, three goals, four assists. Really enjoy him. He's very agile, and I think if you sub him in, sub him in in the second half, he can have a huge impact onto your team. So now the time has come to build a team around our legends. First of all, we are placing these two into our team and we will be building our team surrounding them. 1.3 million paid for uh, R9, I should say, uh, instead of saying Ronaldo and then Cristiano Ronaldo the whole time. So R9 has cost us 1.3 million. Um, for this guy, 817 games, 849 goals, 508 assists. That is quite impressive. Four star, four star, not the five star, five star that he has on his prime card or even on his 94 rated card. But still, I think this will be a Gabriel Jesus on steroids. And now I present to you the CR7 R9 squad. Here it is, boys. This is the team that we'll be using for this weekend league. And we will have some really good substitutes on the bench as well. Here we go. Let me show you the beast. Cristiano Ronaldo and R9 will be playing in a 4-1-2-1-2 up top. I will show you the formation actually in-game. So we do have 100 chemistry uh, if we have the formation like that. Let me just quickly show you how the team would look like if we play in-game. So here is the squad basically. We would have Ronaldo's up front, both of them. That will be amazing. For the first time, we'll be able to use them. We will have Bullion as a center attack in midfielder. We'll have Fernandinho as a center midfielder who we have used multiple times and I still absolutely love that card. And then down the left we will have Fred who I actually really enjoy. He's very, very cheap but a really, really good card in my opinion. So if you guys haven't tried this card yet, give it a shot. He is an amazing player, especially like with his agility and stuff. He's really fun to use. We will use our untradeable Ismaili down the left hand side. I actually really enjoyed him in the games that I played so far. So I will keep him in the left hand side. He gets the perfect link to Fernan uh, not Fernandez, Fred as well. Um, maybe he still has Fernandez in his name. No, he doesn't. Sometimes these Brazilian guys have like eight names and Fernandez could have been in there. I could have been right. But. Here is the squad at the back. We have the usuals. We have Aspiliqueta, Bai, De Gea, and then Valencia as well. Now, after buying this team, we still have around 170k left in our budget. And that is great, man. I cannot wait to use this team in the weekend league. And we'll get right in there. And here is going to be our opponent. Ooh, interesting squad, you know. That is a very fun squad. I like the fact that people are using really fun teams now because they kind of realize team of the season is right around the corner. Most people are selling their teams and using a lot of their untradeable cards and stuff. So this could be a good first game. Hopefully it will be a victory. Anything other than that, I will be quite disappointed. Now the question is, who do I play down the right? Look at all those traits. He will be so amazing. I think I play, I play the uh, normal Ronaldo down the right. And the formation, everything is perfect right here. Let's put get in behind like that. Stay back, stay back, stay back. I'm ready. Valencia, decent pass into R9. Here we go into Valencia. Valencia, uh, not Valencia. <laughs> that is William. What am I saying? There's Ronaldo. First shot, first goal. Let's go. R9 with his first goal. Obviously, the one thing that people don't like about this card is. His haircut. He doesn't have the haircut, the iconic uh, World Cup haircut. That sucks, but I'm still very happy that we have brought him into the team and his first shot actually turns into a goal. He's a clinical finisher and I'm very happy to have him in my squad, man. This will be such a fun weekend league for me because I'm playing with someone that was one of my idols growing up, man. It's just so nice to have him in my club already. Fernandinho, Willian, Ronaldo. Cristiano Ronaldo, Cristiano joins in into the fun. It is 2-0 in the 21st minute. I think this will be a very good weekend league. I'm not expecting like an elite three finish or anything like that because the first three games we already had two losses. But if I can, I would love to get at least 14 victories out of the first half of the weekend league games and then try and push for like at least gold one, obviously. But 
Elite 3 section would be good. We need like 25 victories on average so that we can, can get uh, Elite 3 again monthly. I want to get there and I hope I will do it as well. I think you don't even need 25 on average. You need 24 on average. So we can get there, I believe. R, R9 is now running through. R9, R9. Finish it, son. Yes, it's 3-0. 45th minute. Two goals in his first match. Rage quit. Yes, that is what I wanted to see, man. He seems like a really fun card to use so far. I've only played 45 minutes with him, but his presence alone, when he is on the ball, you can, you can tell your opponent is like, oh shit, he's really quick, good finisher. I need to step back a little bit. And when they give him the room, you're dead. You're conceding. Eight shots, five on target, three goals. That's the way we go this weekend. So what we need to do is to get 24 victories every single weekend. And actually one of them needs to be 25 in order to get into Elite 3. That is going to be our target once again. I'm not giving up, boys. At some point, I will get a really good Red Inform card. And it will happen in this FIFA. So I'm not giving up. I will try. Because I haven't given up on Weekend League. Even though we didn't get the best rewards all the time. But then we got ourselves a Patrick Vieira. So the waiting is worth it, in my opinion. And maybe... Maybe we might even push for Elite 2 if we keep the team that we have right now. We can definitely push for Elite 2 and try to get 15 red informs instead of 12. But um, the month before we had Burki. This month we had uh, Keita as our front card. So 86 and 85. Hopefully next month we'll be getting ourselves a higher rated card. There were a lot of low rated ones that I really wanted but it didn't work out this month. So well we now have... Patrick Vieira sold, we have Cristiano Ronaldo, we have R9, and we do have a really fun team to use. I think that is all that this series should be about, having fun, and finally, we have gotten these two into our club. Now, here's the deal, boys. I wanted to talk about this for quite some time. Um... I love the fact that we have now managed to get these two cards into our team. Uh, we got Ronaldo's in our squad and that is just such a huge achievement achievement for me. That is That was the whole purpose of this series, bringing these two cards into our team. And we have done it now. So from this point on, you gotta think, what, what do we do in the future? How do we continue with this series? I was thinking, since these cards cost a lot of coins, um, it does limit us to just go ahead and build fun teams to use or try out other cards or try out other icon cards or all the crazy cards that are going to be coming out in a team in a season. I can't wait for them. So I was thinking of maybe, if you guys are up for it, ending the series' name, basically Road to Ronaldo's, and turning it into a regular Road to Glory now that we have achieved what we were after we have brought these two cards into our team and now after we have played this weekend league we can sell them on and use all the cards we wanted and get get a lot stronger team into our squad because obviously with 3 million we could create some really really good teams especially when team of the season comes out but until then we could create some really fun teams to use that would be overpowered and maybe get us to 30 victories again so if you guys are up for the change of the series' name and the completion of the Road to Ronaldo series, let me know in the top right corner if you think the name Road to Ronaldo's as it is should now be finished and we should change it to a Road to Glory. And uh, yeah, just let me know, guys, because I want to use more uh, multiple cards. There are so many crazy cards out there. We have already achieved our objective by bringing these two into the club. We'll be playing a full weekend league with this squad and try to see how we do with these two up front. And yeah, we'll see how it goes, man. I'm hoping you guys really enjoyed this episode. Obviously, it wasn't one of the longest episodes, but it was one of the most important ones, in my opinion. I cannot believe we have finally done it. Patrick Vieira, thank you so much. Without you, we couldn't have done it, mate. Here's Ronaldo. Look at him one more time, boys, before you leave. We have gotten him. We have gotten both of these bad boys.